Hey coach, good afternoon. Ray Silva from uh, South Texas Border Sports. I just want uh, wanted to ask you, uh, early on you were forced to make a substitution in the first half. Uh, how, do you have a status update on that player? Yeah, they're okay. Um, yeah, we, uh, we were worried about cramping. Uh, especially dealing with the wide players, right? So that was a, a substitution that we weren't planning to make, but ultimately it was the right decision. Uh, early in the game, when you go down on two corner kicks in the first two minutes and then a penalty kick within the first five, that's a tough situation. That's not ideal. That's not what we wanted. It's obviously not our gameplay. Um, and so if you look beyond those three moments into the game, I think you see a team that's much improved coming off of the lessons we learned from Canada. Right. Unfortunately, that sub had to be made early that we weren't planning for. Yeah. Here in the front. Yeah. Cool. So you raise your hand first. I don't know. Okay. Um, I was hoping you could talk a little bit about, uh, as you were saying, sort of developing the game plan um, and learning the lessons. Um, is there anything in particular you talked about at halftime? Because it seemed like the second half the team came out much more composed. Yeah. Is that the team themselves kind of learning the process? Yeah, you know, I think uh, it's, it's amazing to see them. And we talked about, I talked about this like all last week. I talked about it earlier this week is like this is a really young team, right? We started a 14-year-old. We had a 15-year-old, a 16-year-old on the field right, against a team with so much more experience. And so naturally, when they come off the field, they have questions. They, um, they're trying to solve things, right? So uh, the locker room at halftime, it was obviously big picture things like knowing our assignments on how we're defending the set pieces, but also improving our ability to communicate in wide spaces to be able to handle the pressure that was coming from the outside backs uh, from Mexico, which was improved, right? So when you look at the second half, you know, it was, it was second half was, was was a 2-0 game, right? Um, I think it's taking the dial forward for us for both the team standpoint and then the individual players and their learning, right? So you can't imagine if you're 14 and you're playing against the center mids from Mexico, which are some of the best players in the world, not much, much less this tournament, and you're being able to solve problems and hold your own, you have to think how positive that is for the future for St. Kitts. Right in front. Coach, could you just rattle down, rattle out those the names of those uh, those uh, teenagers that are on yeah. the team? And, oh, and, God, and, they're almost everybody. And uh, uh, <laughs> um, what, what was your take on you know overall gameplay and yeah, and what maybe one or two of them did? Yeah, sure. In the in the starting lineup, the youngest players. You'll have to forgive me because I have to read across my notes. But um, the youngest players on the field were uh, Ellie Stokes. She's playing outside mid on the right. Uh, Kayla Udenberg, who is playing the eight. Uh, on the left side, uh, Bailey, Eliana Bailey, she's from Puerto Rico, uh, and she was she's the one who subbed off, and uh, Kaylee came in, and Kaylee's 15 from Baltimore, and then uh, the other players were a bit more experienced, a little older, right? But in terms of our gameplay, I, I was happy that Phoenicia was available to play today. Um, her and, and Brittany Lawrence uh, work well together and off each other, so I was really happy to be able to see her. I think that brought another dynamic for us, and I look forward to that going forward. Um, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention Chloe, so Kayla and Chloe are sisters. We had actually had the third sister come in late in the 80th minute, um, Carly. But uh, if you've been watching them play uh, uh, Chloe, number five, Udenberg, she's, she's been box-to-box -box defender for us. She's been doing a great job. She is a senior in high school, right? So that's a, that's a big deal for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. yeah. Are any, there any sorry. other questions? Any yeah. additional questions? Oh, yeah. Great. Go ahead. Uh, I was actually going to ask about Chloe because I thought she had a really yeah. fantastic game. It was, that was one of the players sort of see developing even over the process. Um, her and some of these other younger players, do they have sort of plans to play in college? Is there future... Um, is this something that's part of a larger process of they kind of see themselves? It, it, Here's where I see the next five yeah, years. Yeah, it go. is. Absolutely. That's a great question. Um, a lot of the players are have the desire to play both in college uh, elsewhere and also professionally, right? So for us, it's um, specifically for Chloe. Like, yes, she just she just assigned to a, a program that's in that's in Canada that's about 15 minutes from her hometown. You'll have to forgive me that I don't know the name, but I think you could probably find it out there. Um, but many of them, especially players that are from the island, like uh, Tarvia Phillips, who is in the center back. She's number 12. Uh, she she works as a landscaper back home, right? She has aspirations to be a professional football player. Uh, so do many of the players, right? So part of our process is uh, 
helping them get connected with professional environments outside of St. Kitts, but also improving the professional league that does currently exist in St. Kitts for the, for the women to play in, right? So there's two tiers to that. So I'm, I'm hoping that this tournament experience uh, exposes those players to uh, opportunities. And part of my role is to make connections with uh, clubs and agents and colleges uh, to, to get them to be visible. No, absolutely. It's important, and it's important for them, but it's important for the St. Kitts, like the future of St. Kitts and Nevis.